So Debbie Wasserman Schultz was axed from the Democratic Convention and the Democratic Committee for obvious reasons since the fallout of the WikiLeaks scandal. We learned that uh, the DNC was basically on the side of Hillary Clinton from day one, and they kind of stacked the deck against Bernie Sanders, and they were open and honest about that in emails with each other. Uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz being the head of the DNC, I mean, she's largely responsible for this, and it's, I mean, this is what we were saying all along. She used to work for Hillary Clinton. The idea that she's neutral, which is what they were saying, was ridiculous. But they tried to stick to that lie, and so it shows you their character, and it shows you how smug and arrogant they are, and it shows you that they're just liars. So they said, we're not going to let her speak at one point, but this was when she was still the head of the DNC. And then they said, okay, well, we're just going to have her gavel in and gavel out at the end of the day and not actually speak, not give like a speech. And then they're like, okay, no, we're not going to do that either. And this is when she was still the head of the DNC. And then finally they were like, okay, she's going to step down as the head of the DNC. Uh, and then they said, ooh, ooh, yeah, no, we can't let her speak. Why can't they let her speak? Well, let's see what happened when she spoke briefly at a side event. This isn't the main DNC stage or anything like that. Let's see what happened. All right, everybody now, settle down. the line thank you all so much as they're booing her <laughs> but that shows you how disconnected she is and how disconnected they are meaning the dnc from the people <laughs> from regular folks like oh yeah no oh yes i know you people love me because that's the game that we've been playing from day one and this is kabuki theater and i'm told that you're supposed to love me and no oh, you're all booing me well i want to thank you guys thank you very much settle down now simmer down everybody like she's a the, the head, the, a teacher or something. She's at the head of the class, like, okay, now everybody settle down. Let's simmer down now. I have something to say. So, uh, what bugs me to no end about this is there's no doubt that the media is going to take this instance and other in similar instances and they're going to spin it. And they're going to spin it and they're going to make the case that Bernie Sanders supporters are basically inherently irrational. Like, oh, look at them. They're not adults. They can't stop booing. Ah. Typical. We knew this of Bernie's people. They're so irrational, you know, and they'll also spin it when it comes to Hillary Clinton. And, and in this case, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, they'll say, well, it's sexist. I mean, they they don't like this woman. She's a woman. Sexism. As to see, they're just a mob of sexists. So that's how they're going to spin this. But think about how pathetic that is. Because it's like they're comfortable with their surface bullshit answers because they don't want to look any deeper. Because when you look deeper, you find out very quickly, they're not booing her because she's a woman. They're not booing her because they're inherently irrational. They're booing her because they know too much. I mean, this is a crowd full of people who read the WikiLeaks documents, who saw the internal DNC emails, who realized that, oh my goodness, they tried to atheist shame Bernie Sanders as a strategy to get Hillary Clinton to win. This is the DNC that was working on that. You know, in the emails, they admit there are Hillary Clinton and DNC moles inside of Bernie's campaign. They were trying to fucking tank the thing from day one. They had stories that they would leak to different press outlets. Washington Post was one of them, for example. You know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz would email and get in contact with Chuck Todd and Phil Griffin, the president of MSNBC, when somebody on air said something she didn't like that was against her and was against the DNC and I'm sure was against Hillary Clinton also. So, this is why people are booing you. You're a fucking puppet master behind the scenes, trying to control everything and trying to set the narrative in Hillary's direction, as opposed to having a free, fair, open campaign and giving Bernie Sanders a shot. You never wanted him to win. You never wanted him to have a chance. 
So now you go up there and you expect everybody to go, Oh, yes, Debbie! Oh, how fair and great you've been and how much you care about the policy substance. And that's the main point here. Every single person in that fucking crowd who was booing, they know damn well Debbie Wasserman Schultz does not give a fuck about them. She doesn't give a fuck about the American people. She doesn't give a fuck about progressive policy positions. She cares about getting Hillary Clinton elected, and that's it. So this is a person who we've covered the stories. She's taken so much money from predatory uh, payday lenders, and she's gone to bat for them. She's fought for them. So there's supposed to be some rules implemented. You can thank Elizabeth Warren for this, by the way, for fighting for you on this. They tried to have rules implemented at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Debbie Wasserman Schultz swoops in at the last second with a bunch of other idiots and Republicans and says, well, let's hold off on the rules that would actually crack down on the predatory payday lenders and then come to find out she takes so much money from them. So this is why people don't like you, Debbie. It's not because they're inherently irrational. It's not because they're, they're sexist. It's not because they're, they're uninformed. They dislike you because they are informed. So, uh, I have zero love for Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and I'm happy that she's going down in flames like this. And by the way, uh, there's somebody running against her. So she's obviously in the House of Representatives. There's somebody running against her in her district in Florida. Uh, his name is Tim Canova. Tim Canova is not a Republican. Tim Canova is a progressive Democrat. So, all you guys should know that if you feel the same way about Debbie Washington Schultz than I, as I do, well, then that's a nice little piece of information to have. Now, she's been trying to snub him all day long. She, she's told him, no, I'm not going to debate you, even though there's a fucking election going on. I'm not going to debate you because I'm busy. So, he was on Twitter yesterday saying, oh, I guess now you're done with the DNC. You're not really busy anymore now, are you? So, how about you come debate me? Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Because now, what, what, you got no excuse now. She wanted to, oh, this little pissant who's not part of the Democratic establishment, fuck off. See, I'm part, I'm, I'm with the cool people, I'm in the in crowd, I'm part of the Democratic establishment, we bathe in Wall Street money, so I'm gonna crush you on fundraising alone. Oh, are you really? Well, now that everybody knows how corrupt Debbie Wasserman Schultz is, everybody's getting the message out there about Tim Canova, and he's getting Bernie Sanders-style donations. People are sending him $27 at a time. And now it's like, oh. There is a race going on here, because it's people power versus Wall Street power. And you may have been exposed too much to the point where the people are going to actually drown out the Wall Street funding. And you're politically toxic where even Wall Street might be like, ooh, you kind of, you know, showed your hand a little too much there, Debbie. We got to move away from you. So, man, I hope she fears that she's going to lose her job because she should lose her job because she doesn't fucking do her job. Her job is actually supposed to be to represent the people. Her job as head of the DNC was actually supposed to be to be neutral. And to say, okay, look, this is a democratic race, we're staying out of it, it's Hillary versus Bernie, and it is what it is, whatever happens, happens. No, 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 they tried to rig it from the beginning against Bernie Sanders. And they do not care about policy substance, they do not care about the American people. You think Debbie Wasserman Schultz give a, gives a fuck if we have single-payer health care? You think she cares if we have uh, universal college? You think she wants clean elections and do campaign finance reform and get money out of politics? You'd have to be crazy to believe that. So that's why they're fucking booing you. Because we are sick and tired of having Democratic politicians and not getting Democratic policies. People vote for Democrats because they actually want to get the things that I just laid out. But when you, you know, say, oh, everybody give me your vote, give me your vote, give me your vote, I'm going to fight for you, and then you get in there, and you basically do old-school Republican policies... Well, we're all gonna say, fuck you! Why should we even bother to vote for you? You're giving us no reason to vote for you. If our choices are old-school-style Republican policies and new-school-style Republican policies, a lot of people say, well, you know what, it's Republican either way, so I'm just not gonna show up. Now, I would argue, of course, there's still distinctions and differences, and, you know, you'd rather have somebody to give you no change than to give you change in the wrong direction. But, you cannot blame individuals who say, you're not giving me a reason to get up and go vote for you. So, it's on you. I agree with those people who say it's on them. So, uh, I'm happy that she got booed. I'm happy that she's no longer the head of the DNC. Uh, I'm happy that she's been exposed. And let's see what happens in these other emails that come out, man. They're gonna be pretty damning. And all the people who are like, oh, you must stop releasing them because they are damning. So what? Less facts is better? Fewer facts? Is that the argument you're making? <laughs> give us less information. Give us less data. Give us less transparency in government. Is that- Okay, if that's your position, that's your position. 
thank you. We know exactly where you stand. Uh, I stand on the opposite position. 